Hello, in this video, we will look at the up-down operation of IS7. The up-down operation is a function that enables the frequency reference to be set by multifunction digital inputs. After programming the two multifunction digital inputs to up and down respectively, the run command must be applied and the frequency reference can be increased or decreased only while the multifunction digital input is on, whether it is up or down. If up and down inputs are on at the same time, the drive will run at a constant speed. The up-down operation can be applied to systems that operate by accelerating or decelerating with the switch, such as an overhead crane. To use the up-down function, two of the multifunction digital input parameters in the in group must be programmed to up and down respectively. When the multifunction digital input parameters are programmed to up and down, the frequency command source displayed at the top of the monitor mode changes to S. In this state, when the multifunction input programmed as up is on, S changes to U to indicate up operation, and the output frequency increases. When the multifunction input programmed as down is on, S changes to D. Next, let's take a look at three operation modes of the up-down function. The first mode to be introduced is normal mode, which accelerates when the up digital input is on and decelerates when the down is on. The second mode is the step mode. The step mode is the mode to accelerate or decelerate by the frequency program in the parameter of the up-down step frequency, which is ADV86. The last mode to introduce is a combination of normal mode and step mode. If you operate up or down within three seconds, it operates like a step mode and if it stays on for more than 3 seconds, it continues to accelerate while it is on like the normal mode. Next, we will see how to save the operating frequency. By default, frequencies designated by up or down operation are not saved. However, if ADV65 is set to yes, the up-down function allows the operation frequency to be stored in memory when the run command is turned off or tripped during constant speed operation or when the power is cut off. The diagram shown on the screen shows when ADV65 is set to NO. In this case, since the frequency is not automatically saved during constant speed operation, the multifunction digital input is used. The UD save function using a multifunctional digital input stores the frequency when it is turned on during constant speed operation. If the run command is turned on again or returns to the normal state, operation can continue with the stored frequency. To delete the stored frequency, Program one of the multifunction digital input to 20, and then close the digital input programmed as 20 in the stop or constant speed state, and the stored frequency will be deleted in up-down operation. The diagram shown on the screen shows when ADV65 is set to yes. When the ADV65's UD save function is set to yes, the operating frequency during constant speed is safe, regardless of the multifunction digital input up-down save input status. To clear the stored frequency, 
Assign one of the multifunction digital inputs to clear and turn it on. Now, let's test the up-down in normal mode. After selecting the digital input to use for up-down operation, program the corresponding terminal function to the 17 up or the 18 down. Then, the frequency command source display, displayed at the top of the monitor mode, changes to S. In this state, when the multifunction input programmed as up is on, S changes to U, and the frequency increases while it is on. When the multifunction input programmed as down is on, S changes to D, and you can see that the frequency decreases while it is on. Next, let's test up-down save operation. Set ADV65 up-down save mode to yes. Then, program in group 70 to 20 up-down clear. When you have finished the programming, initiate the FX digital input first by turning it on. Then, speed up the frequency by setting the digital input programmed as up to on. When it reaches 60 Hz, stop it by turning off the FX digital input and the up digital input. After turning the up off, turn on the FX again to check if the frequency is stored. You can see that the drive is accelerating to 60 Hz even when the up operation is not turned on. To delete the stored frequency, turn on and off the digital input programmed to clear up and down. Then, turn on the FX digital input again and check if the saved frequency has been deleted. You can see that it does not accelerate at zero hertz. Next, let's test the up-down step operation. Change the up-down mode of ADV85 to 1 while maintaining the previous test settings. Then, set the up and down step frequency of ADV86 to 5 Hz. After setting this, initiate the FX digital input by turning it on. Then, turn on the digital input that is programmed as up and wait. It can be seen that although the up digital input is still on, it accelerates by 5 Hz set as the step frequency, and then it no longer increases. If you turn the digital input programmed as up, off and on, you can see that it rises 5 Hz again to reach 10 Hz. Next, you can see that if the down is turned on, it decelerates as much as the step frequency. Next, let's test the up-down step plus normal operation. After setting this, operate the FX digital input by turning it on. Then, turn the digital input that is programmed as up on and off. As in the previous test, it can be seen that after accelerating only to the 5 Hz set as the step frequency, it does not accelerate anymore. Next, turn on the up digital input and watch it without turning it off. If the up digital input is on for more than 3 seconds, 
it can be seen that the frequency continues to increase while the up digital input is on, just like normal operation even after it reaches 10 Hz. Likewise, if the down digital input is turned on for less than 3 seconds, only 5 Hz decelerates. But if it is turned on for more than 3 seconds, it can be seen that it decreases continuously. We have learned about up-down operation. Thank you.